protocol of dynamic should be bad. Yeah. It wouldn't be bad, right? <laughs> yeah. So. I guess it would offset. Right. So for anything that, that has any type of dissipation somewhere, uh, midpoint rule is highly not recommended. Okay. So now we are equipped with the concept that both forward order and midpoint rule has its own stability region, right? The stability region is that if you are solving ODE system uh, like this, it, this, each scheme is only good for a certain region in the complex plane. Actually, um, remember like for both schemes, the region, the extent of that stability region is scales linearly with 1 over delta t. Right, so for uh, for forward order, the region is where was it? The region was bounded by a circle of radius one over delta t. Right, okay. For midpoint rule, it's actually a line whose length is two over delta t. So usually, when we represent the stability characteristic of an ODE solver. We plot the stability region as delta t times the real and the imaginary part of that lambda. So for forward order, if you plot it this way, the stability region is going to be a circle that is centered at minus 1 and extends to minus 2. For midpoint, the region is going to be a line on the imaginary axis that is like that right right now like you you have two schemes for solving systems one actually uh, if you know your eigenvalues lies to the left of the imaginary axis then you know if I use forward order as long as I have a small enough delta t I can have the circle encompass that lambda if I'm exactly on the imaginary axis, then I also know when I make delta t small enough, the stability region is going to encompass that lambda. Or on the other hand, delta t times lambda is going to be lying in between minus i and i, right? So this is i, this is minus i. All right. And uh, uh, one of the unsolved uh, problem is if you, for example, have an eigenvalue exactly on the imaginary axis, another eigenvalue to the left of the imaginary axis, then mm, is there which 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 solver would work? So so if you have a system of ODEs. Okay, and if you do eigenvalue analysis, you have one eigenvalue on the one of the lambdas on the left of the imaginary axis and another lambda exactly on the imaginary axis. What solver would you use? Forward order? Actually, neither works. Right, neither works. But when forward order would be better. Forward order would uh, um, would amplify the component of the error corresponding to the eigenvalue on the imaginary axis. While midpoint rule would indefinitely amplify the error corresponding to the eigenvalue on the left of the imaginary axis. So, so neither one would be a stable scheme when you integrate for a long time. So you need better schemes. All right, and that's that's something we'll talk about in the next lecture. Like, what are the what are the schemes that has a wider and more flexible stability region than these two, right? So you can you can actually design it. It now becomes a like a ex exercising how do I manipulate all the terms in the ODE solver, right? To to make it both accurate to a certain order and having stability regions encompassing like a bigger region. So so for example, MATLAB has as its ODE45, right? That is a solver who uh, that is a uh, um is actually fifth order accurate. The name 45 is that uh, it constantly uses two schemes. One is fourth order, one is fifth order accurate. 
And uh, the reason it uses two schemes is because it has to automatically determine the delta t, and it does so by comparing the result of these two schemes. If these two schemes give you very different answers, uh, it'll reduce the delta t. If these two schemes gives you the same answer, it thinks the delta t is good enough. But uh, for for both the schemes, the stability region is something like this. So it actually encompasses a certain part of the real axis and is also stable in a bigger part of the domain on the left of the imaginary axis. But the, the scheme is not something you want to write down here. It's uh, pretty pretty involved. That's OD45, yeah. Doesn't it just it's actually one type of Runge Carter. Yeah. yeah. Both, both the fourth order and fifth order is, uh, it actually lies within the class of Runge-Kata schemes. Yes. Is it possible to have uh, a stability region that does not contain the origin? Is it possible to have a scheme whose stability region doesn't contain the origin? Yes, like the scheme we used uh, last week. So, uh, so the fourth order, it wasn't zero stable, but it was possible to be stable in some region. One that we found. The one we found unstable, right? Uh, the, the fourth order scheme we used was not zero stable, which means the stability region does not contain the origin. Yeah. But is it going to. Uh, that I don't know. Nobody really did that study because even if it is stable within a certain region, you would ultimately get out of the region as you refine your delta t, right? So, so it's not, so basically you have to choose between stability and accuracy. As you refine your delta t, you get more accurate result, but then you'll be unstable. So, so nobody really did that analysis. Is the scheme stable outside uh, some region, right? Uh, I, I don't know if that's useful or not. Yeah. Any, I think you had a question? Anybody else has a question? All right, okay.